um, with one of the six wives, uh, Jane Seymour, I, I picked because even though it was done on a church organ, uh, not a million miles away from here, St Giles Cripplegate, uh, it was written on the piano because obviously I don't have a church organ at home, uh, so I wrote it on the piano. And I thought, well, I wrote it on the piano, it means it must work on the piano somehow. And I'd never, ever done it on the piano before. And uh, again, I shortened it, not didn't make it quite so long, because it's a different technique, obviously, with the organ, you can have lots of big sustains, mm. and lots of big, which you can't do on the piano. So I changed it around, and uh, I was really pleased with the, with, uh, with the outcome. When the melody of Jane Seymour started, I went, you took me right back to my sixth form. <laughs> and because every, everyone had been passing around six wives of Henry VIII, yeah. said, you've got to hear this, you've got to hear this. Even my physics teacher, who liked playing the organ, even he oh, wow. really, really liked Jane Seymour. But there is something about that melody which, which really does stand the test of time. It's, I mean, I know it's a few decades old, but it could be a few yeah. hundred years old. Yeah, it could. I mean, I, I've always been a great believer that uh, music shouldn't have a date stamp on it. Uh, back in the days of, well, vinyls back now, back in the days when they used to stamp the year on the record and the thing, I would have taken that off because it's very interesting. Uh, many years ago when my eldest boy, who's now 46, when he was about 16, uh, uh, came around the house and he was going through the record collection and he came and said, Dad, I found this great album. And I said, what's that? He said, it's called In the Court of the Crimson King by this band called King Crimson. They're great. And I said, do you know how old that is? He said, I don't care. And he actually said to me, did, he said, you like Mozart, don't you? I said, well, of course I do. He said, do you know the order he wrote everything in? What year he wrote everything in? I said, well, no. He said, it doesn't make any difference. It's either a good piece of music or it isn't. And I thought, mm. well, there you go, that's told me then. And it said it's true. So it, I think you're quite right. Uh, it's, the thing to give away when something's written is usually the sound. Uh, so it's, it's like you can, 80s pop records. There's lots of sounds that we use then that give it away as that period of time. But when you're coming down to piano and down to organ and harpsichord and instruments like that, then it is very hard to put a year on it.